So the Fallout show came out, and uh, me and a few buddies decided to stay up and uh, binge watch the entire thing over the night. And well, you know, <laughs> that was the best goddamn video game adaptation show I think I've ever seen. I, I, think, it, I think it was pretty good, you know? So we we're going to talk about that for a bit. I have no idea where to start with this thing. I mean, I could talk about the storyline in general, which, you know, I could probably sum up the storyline in one sentence, and it's back to follow basic. We have to find our dad. So that's it. I could talk about the actors. I can talk about just the references this this show had. And for game references in these types of shows, Fallout did it perfectly. And I, I said this to my brother and I'm going to say it here. I think this is the best, best video game adaptation we've got. I think it's even better than The Last of Us show. Now, when I say that, I'm, I, I put The Last of Us show video game adaptation TV show, that's it, on like a different list of it. Like That's adapting a story straight up. With Fallout, it, it's different. You can't. I don't think you should adapt the video game stories of Fallout because really the games of Fallout is whatever you want. You don't really have to follow the main story. You do eventually, but you can just go off and do whatever you want from the get-go. But what the Fallout show does is it, I think, really perfectly adapt the world and the lore around Fallout in it perfectly. And this just big beautiful sphere that you could hold it's so round it's like the perfect the perfect ball and that's a weird analogy i don't i don't know why i said that but i just think for fallout it it, it feels like it you're inside fallout watching that show last of us show yes you, that's a really good adaptation for adapting a video game story but i think fallout adapts the world in just a much better way you don't it's not about the video game story. I think Fallout is just adapting the world perfectly. It's I know what I just said is convoluted, but those are my thoughts. I'm not really good. I just do this because I like talking. There were so many good references to the games themselves, like from the NCR flags to just the Pit Boys looking phenomenal, by the way. Just all these... There's too many details. Like, every episode just had details after details that were just so much and like until i do a second watch through i'm probably gonna pick up more i didn't pick up everything i probably pick up the main ones that showed you on it like i remember one from the very first episode and i don't really want to get into spoilers that much but i'm probably going to but from the first episode you have a bunch it's like a kid's birthday party it's before the bombs fell it's you're following god i can never remember his name but i love him as an actor one second yeah yeah it's the guy who plays the ghoul, Walton Goggins, and I love him. I, lo I love him and all the things he, he's in. He, he's a fantastic actor. He, he, if you know, if you watch Invincible, he voices Cecil. If you know who Cecil is, I'll probably put his picture up on screen. I also will put a picture of, of Mr. Goggins as well. Nonetheless, it starts with him, and he's, he, there's, there, we learn more of, of his story as the show goes on, and I don't want to go really in, because I want, I want people to watch the show. If you're a fan of Fallout, and you're optimistic about watching the show, get your ass over there and watch it. But it starts out before the bombs fell, and he plays the ghoul, so if you know how ghouls work in Fallout, they're radiated people that are lived hundreds of years, basically. But there's a scene where a bunch of kids are watching TV, and they turn, just flip the screens, and you flip it, and it just goes to Grognak the Barbarian, and that's like a little like comic book series that's in the Fallout universe, which... I don't know. I just love. I love the. I just love all the little details. So the story's kind of split up into three different, um, well, three different stories that all kind of inter intertwine at one point. So we got the vault vault dweller Lucy McLean, played by Ella Purnell, and then we got the Brotherhood of Steel member Maximus, played by Aaron Clifton Moten. Lucy's a vault dweller, you know, and she, I think she she does a perfect vault dweller. I think she I think for what we've seen, because we've only ever really had a voice protagonist in four, so like, and Nate was just frozen and brought back. She was born in the vault, so she she kind of doesn't know how to re interact with actual like 
people on the outside. So, and I think she does it really well to where it's like that really awkwardness, but you're like, just, it's just, it's just, she, it's done really, really well. And I think she does a really good job. And I, I hope there's more to the show and I would love to see her again. But her story is that she is trying to basically find her dad, basic fallout story. And I think they did that because, you know, that's a trope to fall out, but who knows? It was done really well. And then Maximus is a Brotherhood of Steel member who wants to become a paladin or a knight. I think they call them knights. I I think I remember in Fallout 4 them being paladins. The guy they he just wants to be able to wear power armor. He wants to be strong as shit and wear power armor. Let's just go with that. And their stories end up intertwining because they end up all the ghoul, the Vault Dweller, and the Brotherhood of Steel Maximus all end up getting intertwined and sent on this journey to find this old man who has some type of thing. I'm not going to go into anything else, but he has some kind of thing, and they all are sent to track him and find him, and they all inter inter intertwine eventually. And, you know, I I'm trying to do this the best, but I'll just say Max's will get his, his thing. And one thing about Max's and about how Aaron Clifton, he's very weird i think i think he's just very weird he, he's strange and i i think he's i don't know i don't want to say it but i think the link his character is all there there's some moments that that make you think that he's he's kind of cuckoo in the brain but i don't know he gets better weight a, a lot towards the end but god is he fucking hilarious when he gets that power armor because he Whenever you get the power armor on it, it's a, it just changes your voice to a deep voice, and he gets a, a scribe, a person to follow around him, and he just starts bitching him around, and it's the funniest thing. At one point, he takes his co his like cod piece off, which is basically just just there's the cup that would cover your crotch, and he takes this off, and he's just like, here, cool, clean that, and just throws it at him, which I don't. Uh, I, I, I loved him I loved him I thought it was funny he was definitely it was definitely the funniest part of the show was was him him and the Brotherhood of Steel I think the Brotherhood of Steel story was definitely the funniest but uh the most badass was was the ghoul like the the fights in this show were so good and oh my god like like I don't know I'm just I don't know what pistol. Walt and Gongan's character, the ghoul, had, but holy fucking shit, it packs a goddamn punch. And there's even a scene later on where it's him, and, like, he apparently knows some stuff about the power armor, and, like, there's one part where he's just, like, he's all badass and cool, and he says something about, like, the inner workings of the power armor, and so he just starts one-shotting people in power armor, and it was just the coolest scene ever. I thought it was phenomenal. We got we got a whole thing story about the vault as well. There's uh, we actually follow. I'm gonna butcher his name, but I think it's Moses Ares. And if you know who that is, he's from Nickelodeon. You know Hannah Montana, Rico. If you know who that is, but he plays uh, Lucy McLean's young, younger brother Norm, and he he is on a whole story. And you know me and my friends were kind of joking. That, you know he he was he's kind of a bitch because at one point when Lucy decides to leave the vault. He's like, I'm too chicken to leave. And I was like, dude, man, I wish you were going to be in this more. But turns out he has his own side story, and he is also a main character, which I was really, really happy about that. I'm, I'm glad to see Rico in this. And that's how I'm going to call him. He's just Rico to me. But, dude, the gore in this show, I was not expecting it to be. But it's also an Amazon show, so I, I expect them to put uh, – if you've seen The Boys, you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I would never, oh, oh my god, there's just some stuff in it that was like, just made me go silent. It was so fucking awesome. Like, I'm all for gore and shit and, and movies and TV shows. I love the boys. I love, like I said, like I mentioned it in the video, I love Invincible. I love that very violent type of combat shit. And Fallout Show does not stride away from it. Like I said, when he was, he is pistol packed a punch. It packed a motherfucking punch. And when, when the power armor gets 
introduced. Oh my god. It's 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 cr- it's crushing. It really is. But um yeah. Uh I I just wanted to add that. I I think I think for 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 this show, it's really good and it does set it itself up for a sequel and I don't want to say what's at the end, but if you are a Fallout fan and you're a Fallout fan of a particular game, go watch this show because it's 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 going to make you freak out. It's it's fantastic. They did everything right. And if I would have to rate this on my Ethan scale or Caesar scale, I'm Ethan. I don't think I've ever said that. Probably I have. I honestly would give this, and it's, this is a 9.5 Nuka Colas out of 10. This is a fantastic adaptation, and with it set up to a sequel, I hope to God it gets greenlit, and I hope to God we get many more seasons of this. I am so excited. I have downloaded Fallout two of the games i've done three and four i'm going to i i just love it and i'm lost for words for how good the show is and i won't really want to rewatch it again but anyways that's it for this little review was trying to be spoiler free as i could so if you're a fallout fan or you're just from what i was talking about interested in the show get your ass over there and watch the show but anyways i'll see you on the next video peace